Okay, YouTube, here we are, man. We're in the garage in the shop shooting a video of us doing a headliner on a vehicle. If this does not define detailing, I don't know what does. We are going to epoxy with a glue, which is what my assistant is doing, Ben. And uh, give a shout out. <clears throat> and we are going to apply this material. In fact, respect on the headliner. It takes about 15 minutes to dry. Mmm, smells delicious. Yummy. Deliciousness. And I will shoot a video, or try to shoot a video. Let me walk over here and show you what's in the, well, I'll tell you what. Let's walk over here. There's where it's gonna go. This is a 2011 Volkswagen Tiguan. It's not that bad to pull it out, it really isn't. Putting it back in, hopefully it'll be easier. I don't know yet. We'll see. All the parts. Look over here. You get all the side airbags you gotta watch out for, all the electronics, all the harnesses. This is the panoramic sunroof. Once again, you, you got to take all the accessories, all the wiring and all the lights and everything out. And then when he's done spraying the epoxy, we're going to apply the sunroof or the uh, headliner and cut out the sunroof and all the lights, which uh, sounds like a lot of fun. It's going to be a fun day. It's going to be a great day. Welcome. To our world. It's going to be a great day. It's going to be. Everybody loves headliners. That's all right. Except for headliners. <laughs> all right, so we have applied half of it. We're going to let it sit from anywhere from 30 seconds to 15 minutes. Obviously, we've got a lot of moisture in the air. We've got 50 some odd degrees, mm -hmm. you say, somewhere mm -hmm. there. And we're looking for a tacky feel. So as soon as I don't see residue like that, I know it's time to go ahead and roll out half of it. And guys, sorry about the little shaking on the phone here. I didn't bring the tripod with me. My mistake. I should have, but I didn't. Epic fail. <clears throat> Lack of planning. Bad planning. Kind of spur of the moment. <clears throat> so, uh... On Wednesday. All right. We will begin the drying process. All right, guys. Until then, I'll turn back on here in a minute and let you guys see what we do with the headliner when we start installing it and see where we go from there. Be back in a minute. All right guys, here we go again, part two. Went ahead and got the epoxy on there. Ben's got everything cut out. We'll fit everything in there once it's dried. <laughs> Gunslinger, he's dangerous with a pair of shears. No license to do this. Full disclosure, do not try this at home. And for the record guys, this was my first time. Ben's done this a few, but this was my first time, so. Um, it won't be perfect, but then again, who knows? It is perfect, right? Yep, subjectively. But you can see where the tough spots are gonna be, try and get everything to fit in the molded areas, which is what we're gonna do now. Where all the handles go, all the lights go, all the electronics, the wiring, all that stuff. You can see how some of the areas, you're gonna have to go back and rub to fit in there real nice and neat. Now guys, keep in mind too, we bought this material for like 60 something bucks online and we're doing it ourselves, which would cost you probably 600 to $800 to have somebody else do it for you. It saves you a lot of money if you don't mind doing it yourself. But like Ben said, the hardest part is gonna be just going back over it, rub all the fittings where everything goes to make it look like it's natural, factory. <clears throat> so 
So let me try to give you some close-ups here. These are going to be the sun visors. They're going to go in there. This is going to be the uh, the controls for the sunroof. The sun visor there. And these are going to be the handles on both sides. You want to try to get this in there as close as you can. And the idea is not not to cut all of it away, but to slowly trim. Yeah, it. take your time. Definitely, like you just said, take your time. You only got real one shot this unless you buy two rolls, but you only got one shot. And uh, just do your very best. A little bit of air pocket right there, which we can work. We can work with that. No biggie. As you can well, <clears throat> as you can well tell, the dress attire requires a shirt and tie, which Ben is is sporting right now for this job. Camera adds fifteen pounds. Please note. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. There's definitely better examples of this being done, but. Today. <laughs> okay guys I'm going to log off here for a minute till we get all this fitted perfectly and then I'll shoot a video as we're putting in the car the fun part jeez stay tuned all right YouTube once again we are finishing up the last touches on this headliner let's take a look here look at that does that not look freaking great? Still finishing up the touches in the front there. Let's walk around the back. Check the back. Done deal, man. Looks good. My buddy Ben up there, he's finishing off the last bit of the, the uh, sun visors and the control module. Looks good. Yeah. Now make sure you guys subscribe and like us. Alright, because we didn't go through all this work just for you guys to watch and be entertained. You gotta do some work too, guys. Click on that little button. Subscribe and give us a like. So we can shoot more of these. Even if you don't like us. Yeah, even if you don't like us. Still like us on still like us anyway. It's a love-hate relationship. So uh we'll shoot another video. Probably of uh, I'll probably shoot one of Ben doing the uh, motor in the uh, Rover over here. Range Rover, Range Rover, send Rover right over. That'd be a good little project. All right, guys. Once again, subscribe to us, like us, and uh, we'll shoot another one. See ya.